Hi, this video is suggested by one of my subscribers. If you have a suggestion for a new tutorial, you can leave it as a comment. The images that I'm going to use, you can find links to these in the description if you want to follow the tutorial with me. So let's get started. The first thing we need to look for is the size of the faces. And as you can see the background image here, the face is much larger. So we need to adjust the size of this. We need to grab the scale tool, then go and make sure we have selected the right layer, the background layer. Click on that, then click on this chain here to lock it and this way we can keep the aspect ratio. Then we go ahead and highlight this a number here and type the desired number. I already experimented with this photograph so I know how much I need to resize this to uh, 2700 pixels. Just click enter to apply and this will also adjust the height then go ahead and click scale this will scale the image then we go ahead and grab the move tool and adjust the position of this layer place it on top of this here make sure the faces are aligned approximately next we are going to grab the crop tool and crop this images to the background layer when we make the selection, just click inside, this will crop the image. Then we can zoom in holding down the control key and turning the mouse wheel forward. Zoom in a little bit. After this, we need to make sure we select the top layer here, highlight it. Then go ahead and click on this tool here, free select tool. Then we can zoom in even a little bit further. Then I'm going to click and start making a selection like this around the face. carefully around the eyebrows here then close the selection press ctrl c to copy this then ctrl v to paste it then on this new floating selection layer we're going to right click and choose the option to new layer then we can turn this one off then we can grab the move tool and position this layer now before we position the face uh, exactly where we want it to be, we also need to rotate it a little bit because if I move it here you can see that this is uh, straight and this is kind of tilted towards the uh, left here. So we need to rotate it a little bit, grab the rotate tool, click, then adjust the position to something like this and maybe make it an even 5 degrees here. Just uh, type 5 and then click enter to apply the number then click rotate once this is ready we go back to the move tool position the face in order to see exactly what's going on we need to adjust the opacity of this layer reduce it make sure we are on this layer then reduce the opacity so we can see better what's going on then click and position the face and I'm going to zoom in even further, again holding down the control key, turning the mouse wheel forward. And what I want is to align this eye here and this eyebrow. And I think this is good enough. Let's see how this looks. Next I want to duplicate this background layer so we can see the before and after later the next thing i want to do is select this layer again and go to the layer and choose layer to image size now the reason i'm doing this is because the gimmick plugin may uh, give us some problems if we don't do it uh, if we don't resize the layer boundary before i continue i'm actually going to undo this last step so I can explain a little better what's going on. Control Z to undo this. And now you can see the layer boundary here is this indicated with this yellow black dashes. You can see the background layer, layer boundary fits with the canvas. And this one is much smaller. And the plugin that we're going to use, the Jimic plugin, actually the filter that we're going to use, is not going to uh, read it correctly. And if we leave the layer boundary like this, it's going to place the face around here. So we need to adjust it and make sure both layer boundaries are the same so the filter can work correctly. So again, 
go to layer and choose this option layer to image size to uh, resize the layer boundary to the canvas also let's make sure that only the layers that we're going to need are visible so I'm going to turn off this one make it invisible then go to filters gimmick and if you don't have this plugin, just do a Google search, download it. It has a lot of filters, as you can see here, very useful. Then let's go ahead and search here for the blend filter. And uh, this one is the one that we need, blend seamless. Select this, then go here and make sure for the input layers, we change this to all visible. And this is going to select only these two visible layers. As you can see here, we already have pretty good results, but I want to adjust these settings a little bit, the inner fading and the outer fading. Now, if I go ahead and uh, turn the outer fading all the way to zero, you can see how the image looks. I don't know how well this will be uh, displayed on the video, but uh, if I increase this, you can see how it's blending the outer edges and the inner fading kind of um, blends the inner parts of the face it takes from the cover and also if you go too far you're going to reveal uh, reveal the face below so you can't go too far with it but you can go just as far enough to uh, kind of get the complexion the skin tone so you can mix them together and make it look a lot better i already experimented with this so for the inner i'm going to type in 14 and for the outer 12 and i'm going to click the apply button here and this is going to go to work and behind it here it's going to display the result and as you can see i'm going to close this so we can zoom in a little bit further as you can see this is a pretty good result i'm going to go ahead and turn this layer on now and then make this one invisible and visible so you can see the before and after so you can see the before and this is the after it's pretty good result very easy before i wrap up this tutorial there's something important i want to talk to you about now if you follow the tutorial with the images that i'm using you will probably get the same results there's no reason you shouldn't get the same results but if you're using your own images you may experience some problems and in order to get it to work you need to experiment with a few things and this is the size of the face the position of the face and also with the settings in the blend seamless filter in the GMIT plugin. So these are the things you need to look for and you need to experiment with if something is not working quite right. If you do that, you should be able to get really good results. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope that it was useful. If it was, make sure to like the video, leave a comment with your suggestion for a new tutorial. If you're new to my channel, make sure to visit it for more and to subscribe. And that's it for this one. Bye for now.